Last week, a Pennsylvania woman became the first person in the United States to catch a rare type of superbug. It's a form of E. coli that is resistant to even the strongest antibiotics. Medical officials say these dreaded infections are the biggest threat to global health today. So that got us wondering, where do superbugs come from? Good question. John Lordson explains why doctors fear we can expect more cases like this. Uh, what scares me is that how you actually contract a superbug. Just hearing the word superbug it concerns me. gets people's attention. My concerns are that um, a lot of people will get infected and that there won't be a cure for them. And according to doctors, that's a legitimate concern. It is a big threat for sure. Dr. Frank Rehm is with Alina Health. In the United States, antibiotic resistant infections are not new. They account for 2 million illnesses every year. But the Pennsylvania case was alarming because the bug was resistant to even the toughest last ditch antibiotics antibiotics like colistin. That is scary. Wow. Fortunately, in that case, it appears other medications worked and the woman was sent home. But now health officials are looking into where the bug came from. This bug has been recovered mostly in China, both in pigs and in humans. So, um, you know, you could guess that that there'll ultimately be a Chinese connection. Biologically, Dr. Rehm says the bacteria have changed over time to try and resist antibiotics we've overused. Evolution is the opponent. And evolution is a pretty tough uh, opponent. In the war between bacteria and antibiotics, he believes there are now thousands of bacteria that are now resistant to most drugs. I feel like it will be a different type of epidemic for sure. Unless a stronger antibiotic is made. But Dr. Rehm says cost factors could play a role in how soon that gets done. I don't think this problem of antibiotic resistance is going to go away. It's going to get worse. A study done in the United Kingdom predicts that unless new antibiotics are developed, superbugs could kill more people by 2050 than cancer. If you have a good question for John, you can email it by going to wcco.com links.